my nice. god, those colors! In the section of jaw too, that is nice. That is so cool. Oh. 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 Raindrop on the black top, hot stuff, feeling like a robot. Swipe left, scroll down, same chick, but you're living in a new town. Am I the issue? But you got no taste, wouldn't trade it for its weight and go. I'm not old, I'm just a recycled teenager. So we had an absolutely fantastic time on the river. Um, if you see this, you can see probably why. This is a beautiful American Mastodon molar with fully developed roots, which is incredibly rare because of how delicate they are. The roots are actually made out of ivory and rarely fossilized and are preserved. Now, it wasn't the only cool thing we found that day. We found something that might not look rare, but is actually an incredibly rare species of shark for Florida. Now, these are megatooth sharks, and I say megatooth for a very specific reason. They have these vestigial structures called cusplets, and you can see there the raised serrations right here. And so the first megatooth sharks about 52 million years ago in the Eocene were a totus, and they had these large cusps, this triangle cusp on the edge of the blade that was a fish catching adaptation. And as the shark evolved, it got larger and larger and larger until it came the shark we know as today, Megalodon. And it became so large that it no longer needed these fish catching adaptation. And Megalodon primarily fed on cetaceans and whales. And there was no need to have this structure or ate fish, but the chubatensis, which is what this shark is, still has this leftover structure from when the shark was a primarily fish catching species. Now, if you look at a modern, not modern, but a fossilized megalodon tooth, even the tiniest tooth no longer has that structure because there was no need at all to be a fish eater. I mean, if you're 64 feet long, why are you going to stay around with the fish? We also found these really cool Pleistocene fossils in addition to the mastodon tooth. This is a bison antiquus tooth, an extinct Florida bison, really well preserved and quite impressively large. Then we've got these hypsodont teeth, they're um, horse equus, and they have been ground down straight to a nub. 
it is really kind of impressive that they've even survived. You've even got a piece of the maxilla, the bone, in between this tooth right here. So overall, a really incredible day. We can't wait to get back in the river, bring you guys more content. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, follow, whatever you guys can do to support it, and we will bring you more cool videos. Stay tuned.